There are so many lies about that on the internet, it's not even funny. I've seen so many people blatantly lying about affiliate marketing, not knowing anything about it themselves. And in this video, we're going to dispel all those myths. I'm almost 100% certain that absolute majority of you have seen at least one ad about affiliate marketing in few recent days or even few recent few hours. And it is insane how it is being painted is the easy online business to start. Well, in this video, I'm going to be explaining everything how it is based on my experience and all my knowledge. So let's discuss whether affiliate marketing is actually worth for you or not. Let's start with very, very short discussion of what affiliate marketing actually is. I'm pretty sure you know, but let's recap this. So affiliate marketing is basically a business model where you market the products of other individuals in exchange for the commissions from the sales. Basically, you market the product, someone else buys this product, and you're getting percentage of the sales because you marketed it. That's a simple explanation and as exact explanation as it can get. But is it really that easy as it sounds? Well, and the answer is, well, if it sounds too good to be true, most likely it is. And this is the same with affiliate marketing. It is not an easy online business model. You know why? Because of the name itself, affiliate marketing what you are doing in this business model is you are actually marketing the product the only thing that is different in affiliate marketing is that you are not marketing your own product so basically you are not wasting the time in actual creation of the product or perfection of the product you only focus on marketing and guess what you need to do in order to actually succeed in this business model you need to market the products and if you have no idea how to do marketing how do you think you are going to make money from affiliate marketing? But again, let's just simplify some stuff and let's imagine that, okay, you can do marketing, you know some fundamentals about marketing and you are willing to do marketing in order to make money from this basically business model. So, okay, let's discuss how affiliate marketing is actually done. First, you're choosing a product and you're given basically your own link, which allows the owner of the product to track the sales, whether it's coming from you or from other people. Now that you have a link, you need to actually market this link and to market this link you need to put this link in the places where people can actually click this link and you will generate sales historically there have been two groups of places where you can market your product well technically there are three but third is basically paid ads but let's just ignore this for the moment and only focus on free marketing places so the first place to market your product is to go to the places where people who would be interested in this product or rather interested in this niche would gather and these are places like specific facebook groups or the quora question threads or forums or discord servers or youtube comment sections or instagram comments or things like that basically the place where you think that people who might buy this product would gather and you're basically sprinkling your link here and there organically or not that's all up to you sound easy enough right all you need to do is just find places where these people gather enough you can just google it or just ask around or just go around and just find these places it might take few hours but it's easy enough right well that's what majority of affiliate marketers and affiliate marketing courses are actually teaching you and you know what yes it works if it was 2012. in this day and age this method is absolutely outdated because no matter where you will go, if you'll drop a field link, just like that, out of nowhere, you will be banned immediately. No matter it's a Facebook group or a Discord server or thing like that, or if you will not be banned, most likely nobody will click that because majority of people actually know how dangerous the unknown links can be. And affiliate links usually look pretty sketchy. So that's what affiliate marketers are actually teaching you, which is wrong and they are not doing this themselves because it worked in 2012, 2011, maybe 2013, 14, but it hasn't been working for years now. So that's an awful place to start with. Okay, what about the second spot? So second place is instead of going and finding the places where those people are gathering up, you will create this place. Basically, you will create a community where these people will actually gather up. And in order to create community, you need to make a content and it can be any type of content. It can be a text content, whether it's a Facebook groups based on uh, status updates and things like that, or it can be a website blog where you just type out the different blogs and people are just 
looking for it on Google. It can be a static visual content like an Instagram photos or just any type of photos or infographics for Pinterest and things like that. It can be an audio content, let's say a podcast about a certain topic where people are gathering up and in the description you have links to that. And it can be of course a video content like YouTube video like this one or a TikTok video. But you probably see the problem immediately right here. In order to market the product, you need to create a content. So in order to be a marketer, a successful marketer, you need to be a content creator as well. And that's where the main problem with affiliate marketing rises. In recent years, making content has become so easy. Whether No matter whether you're creating a text content, because if it, even AI is smart enough now to write an entire blog. No matter whether it's a photo content, because with tools like Canva, it's incredibly easy to create an amazing post. No matter if you're creating a podcast, because yeah, it's easy to just talk to the microphone. And no matter where you're creating a YouTube videos, because there's so many templates and apps and services that are creating YouTube videos for you, that it has become incredibly, incredibly competitive. And your review of some products might never be seen by anybody. So now, instead of focusing on marketing the product, you need to focus on marketing your content in order to market this product back to those people. Do you see how complicated it becomes? Do you see how difficult and how complicated it becomes for anybody who's just a beginner? Don't get me wrong, I don't say that it's impossible to do, but if you're looking for easy way to make money, well, affiliate marketing is not it. It's not easy. It was in the past, well, comparatively speaking at least, but now it's not anymore. So if you're looking for easy way to make money online, well, affiliate marketing isn't it because in reality, you either need to be paying for ads or to influencers or to other people to promote this product. And why would you even do that for other people's products unless they're paying a lot in commissions or you need to be creating a content yourself. And in this case, you probably focus on other things to make money from and not only on affiliate marketing. The reality is that if you have not done anything online, and you're just starting, affiliate marketing is an awful business to start with. But there is one group of people for whom affiliate marketing is not just a good way to make money from, but it's an essential way to make money from. And if you're not doing this, if you are in this group and you're not doing affiliate marketing, you're basically committing a crime of self-harm basically. And it is the content creators themselves. So if you are creating the content, regardless of affiliate marketing or not, like for example, I do, you might as well put affiliate links in your descriptions as well. You're basically losing nothing. You're creating content anyways. You're not creating content for affiliate marketing. You are creating content for the sake of creation, the content and affiliate marketing will be just an added bonus. I've been putting a bunch of different affiliate links in my descriptions for years now. And believe it or not, even though, even if I'm not talking actively about the products, I'm still generating some sales. It's not a huge amount of income, but it is an income nonetheless. So why would you not do that? Overall, the main question is this, and here is an answer. Is affiliate marketing worth it? And the answer is, if you are not creating a content, if you are not willing to pay for ads, and if you want something that is simple, then absolutely no, affiliate marketing is not worth it. But if you are a content creator, then yes, you should start affiliate marketing and you should start including the links in your descriptions. I hope this answers this question and this is coming from my own experience and from my own pain with affiliate marketing. And by the way, if you think that you need to be a big content creator to start making an affiliate income, no, you don't. I am a small content creator and I've been making income from affiliate sources since I had 100 subscribers. So yeah, you don't have to be a big in order to start making income if you are making content from affiliate marketing. Well, I guess this will be it for today. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm going to see you in the next one. See ya.